stepping in the cast. So like, when to step, what's the thought process behind it? Because a lot of people either just get in the monotony of casting and stepping, which is fine, it's still gonna swing, but really thinking about the connection of what your fly is actually doing in, can, in relation to your step. So stepping before your cast, um, you know, something that you want to do, say, when skating a dry, obviously, don't step when you're skating a dry fly, that's not good. Um, but two, like, you know, if you're trying to fish broadside or shallower water with a lighter tip, lighter fly, I always step before I cast, make the cast, swing the run, step, cast, swing, step. Um, so then thinking about then, during, during your actual swing, just after you make a cast, what stepping actually truly does and what you want your fly to do. So I make a cast out, I take a step down, and, and also too paired with a men is gonna sink that fly much, much faster and more efficient than you could by just mending. So stepping with that is really gonna dig that fly down even further. So if you wanna get down, give it a cast, give it a mend, step down with it, and really let it sink into the run, so to speak, and what you're swinging. Um, and casting. So here, I'm, I'm fishing a pretty light tip, light fly, and I wanna fish it more broadside. So I'm gonna cast a little bit further, more up towards a perpendicular cast. And now I'm gonna be able to have that nice tight line, but more at like a, we'll call it a 45, not just straight downstream swing. So play around with stepping in your, in your swing and really think about what you want your fly to do in the water and how it's best to achieve that.